Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, opposite sky variation, 6, NBD7. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cxd4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. nxd4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center and controls the c5 and e5 squares. It is the last book move. A wise decision. It is quite good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This is a missed chance to kick a knight. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. 
this is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This poses a night winning threat. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. This leads to losing a pawn. This threatens to win a knight. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to win a pawn. It falls flat. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to trade pieces. It falls flat. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is quite good. This enables the adversary to capture an outpost using a knight. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to use a knight to take an outpost. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to move a queen to safety. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. This is the start of the end game and white is worse. It is a mistake. This loses a knight. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a blunder. This wins a knight. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This misses an opportunity to counter-attack an opposing queen. It is a mistake. It was open season on that knight. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. This poses a checkmate threat. It is quite good. The pawn is now adequately defended. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. 
it is quite good. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Takes back. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it.